Hello everybody, my name is FlyingCow1 and welcome to my channel if you are a new viewer. Today I'm going to be showing you all how to build this very large survival house in Minecraft. It is the 50% effort house if you do follow me on Instagram or TikTok. So let's get right into the build over here. These are all the blocks that we're going to be using, so if you're going to be building along with me, then go ahead and pause the video right now and go collect all those blocks. And now let's get started right over here. So here we have the layout. What we're going to do first is we're going to start in this bottom left corner right here. We're just going to take our oak logs and place down one, and then go up four and place down another. That's leaving a gap of four right there. Then from this one, we're going to go over five, and then down one and place down another. So that's another gap of four right there. Then from that, we're going to go up by three and place down one, and then up by four and place down one. And then from that, we're going to go over four and place down one, down four, place down another, and down three. Now from that row right there, we will go over by six and place down one more. And then from that row, go down another four and place down one more. Once we have all those placed, we're going to get out our cobblestone and connect the dots with the oak wooden logs. Once we have that, we're going to take out our spruce wooden planks and go ahead and fill in the floor right there. Then we're going to use our spruce wooden planks again and place down a patio. Then we're going to take out our stone bricks and place down an outline of that patio. Now we're going to get out our oak logs again and we're going to place down four on top of each of them that we have placed. Except for these two on the left here, we're going to place down three. Next up, we're going to take out the oak wooden planks and place down some walls in between all of those oak logs. Then we're going to take our cobblestone stairs and create an outline of the roof.
Once we have that outline down, we're going to take out our spruce wooden stairs now and fill in the roof. Once we have that roof down, we are then going to fill in the gap between the roof and the walls using our oak wooden planks and our spruce wooden stairs. Then using our glass panes we're going to fill in all these windows and then surround them with oak trapdoors. Next up we are going to decorate this patio here using our lanterns, spruce fences, stone brick stairs, spruce wooden slabs, and spruce doors. Now what we're going to do next is move over to the right side of the house and work on this little waterfall over here. What we'll do here is now we're going to take out our oak logs and our oak wooden stairs. And we're going to place down one oak wooden stair right there, one oak log off of that, and then another oak wooden stair right there, one more oak wooden log, and then another oak wooden stair. Now we are going to place down three more oak wooden logs on top of each of those that we just placed. Then we are going to take out our oak wooden stairs again and add three more on top of each of these. Then we are going to get out our oak wooden planks and we are going to go behind this stair right here and place down four. Then we're going to go behind this part right here and using our oak wooden planks we're going to build a little wall behind all of that. And this wall is going to go up an extra three blocks. Now we're going to go ahead and take out our stone brick slabs and place down a little outline for the water fountain area. And then we're going to dig down two in between all of those. Next up, using our spruce wooden slabs, we're going to create a little roof over this area.
Then we're going to take out our lanterns and place down two. And then we're going to take out our water bucket and place down water at the top of each of these. Now that we have that first floor complete, what we're going to do is start working on the second floor, and the first step in that is placing down the oak logs. Next we are going to break out the roof in between those oak logs and then fill in the walls using our oak wooden planks. Now that we have those walls filled in, using our cobblestone stairs, we're going to fill in an outline of the roof. Then we're going to fill in those roof outlines using our spruce wooden stairs. Then we're going to fill in that gap between the walls and the roof using our spruce wooden stairs and our oak wooden planks. Next, using our oak trap doors and glass panes, we're going to place down the windows for the second floor. And now for aesthetic purposes only, we're going to add a little wall that connects these two rooms on our second floor.
And now using our spruce wooden stairs, spruce wooden slabs, and lanterns, we're going to add some finishing touches onto the second floor. Alright, so this next part, what we're going to do is we're going to add an attached guest house using our oak wooden planks. So we're just going to come over here and place down eight off of this block. And then we will place down four off of this block. And then we will connect them in between. Once we have that, using our spruce planks, we're going to fill in the floor. Now what we're going to do using our oak wooden planks is we're going to add seven blocks onto each that we have placed on that outline. Then we're going to break out the roof section and fill in that top layer with oak wooden planks as well. For our next step, we're going to be needing to get out our glass panes, black stained glass panes, and we're going to go on each side right here and place down four. And then we're going to fill in the gap in between. Then using our oak wooden planks, we're going to build a balcony doorway and walls. Then using our oak wooden slabs, we're going to fill in the ceiling. And using our oak wooden slabs again, we're going to add a little archway over the patio. Then we're going to take our lanterns and place two down above the glass railings on the patio. Next we're going to take our black stained glass panes and fill in that 2x2 window over there.
And then using our laterns and lanterns, we're going to go on the inside and decorate the interior for that last section. Then for our second to last step of the build, using our brick stairs, brick walls, and brick blocks, we're going to create a chimney. And now for our final step of the build, using our water bucket, oak leaves, wooden shovel, and bone meal, we're going to decorate the front yard of the house. And there you have it guys, that is the full tutorial for this large survival mansion. I hope that you guys all did enjoy this video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like on it, hit subscribe, and hit the little bell button so that you don't miss any future uploads. I will be doing all of the next houses in the series, all the way up to 100%. So you definitely don't want to miss those. And as always, again, thank you everybody for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Peace.